here at June 20th at 5 p.m. And since uh, since I'm in order in charge, I'll say the prayer. Wow. Because nobody ever calls on me. Now, that's opinion to say, please send the pledge. All right. Our Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this opportunity to serve our fellow citizens. We ask Thee to guide us that we might make thoughtful and decisions that are tr true to everybody. And then we say these words in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please stand. <clears throat> pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, if there's anybody wanting to make a public comment, this would be a good time to do it. Do so, you need speakers, tell us your name and etc. Seeing nobody, we'll move on to uh, item number one. Uh, this is a presentation by two citizens who are concerned citizens. These folks are not paid consultants. They're not paid lobbyists. They're just concerned citizens and want to make sure that what we do and going forth is fair to the citizens. We all know that hidden taxes are a real detriment to the country, and this is certainly one of them. So their presentation is to do with the habitat. Then we've been through this several times now, so we're going to hear their version of it. And I, for one, take off my hat to Barbell said and Dave Bollowick for their many hours of research and digging into this. So you guys, you're on. Hey, before we start, I'd like to know who the camera is. I, I want to know who I'm playing to. <laughs> hey, you be real careful. <laughs> be real careful. I'm That's Scott Ellis, Dad. I'm Barb's husband. Oh, I didn't know to come armed. <laughs> yeah, mine's he bigger than yours. He is a wow. I thought about yes. Me too. <laughs> Who's paying you? That's what I want to know. That's good. I thought maybe it was some yeah. radical group. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, as you know, I am Barbara Elstad. Um, my role tonight is not as an editor or publisher of a news site or newspaper. My role tonight is as a private citizen who is concerned about the um, Virgin, River Conserva Virgin River Habitat Conservation and Recovery Program. Um, and where that score could potentially uh, lead this balance. Um, this is Dave Balwick. Just, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I thank you for your time tonight, uh, this evening, to let us put our presentation on and our viewpoints of what the Virgin River Habitat Program is going to mean to this valley. Uh, I, I'm not an environmentalist. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, this really this became a point to me because of economic development, the cost involved with economic development. I don't know if you're all aware, I've, I've been working with the city on the new uh, economic development steering committee. The city has just pretty much uh, given us a, 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 a green light to saying they like the concept that we just presented and I'm part of the group that the private citizens that is putting together the new economic development plan for, for the city, a private, public, Corporation. So this is kind of, to, to my heart, uh, why I'm involved with this. So I'm not, I'm, we're, I don't think either of us, I'm not uh, against in the environment, protecting the environment. I'm looking for a, uh, the, the most effective, and especially cost effective way to, to get this done that doesn't put literally the Virgin Valley, uh, both Bunkerville, Mesquite, the water district uh, at a disadvantage to the rest of Park County. That, that's kind of our objective for what we're trying to do. Um, we did submit a uh, outline of oh, some of the points, and so I will read through those individually. If I'm going too fast, I'll slow down for you. Well, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I'm not going to read through all of this. Well, we're okay. not. We're, we're we're not here to go. I mean, if there's questions that people want us to answer, we'll be happy to do that. We're not going to try to belabor all the, the, the technical points of compliance, non-compliance, uh, and, and all those points because 
we can get caught up in the minutia and, and spend hours and hours that we're never going to, at one side, we're not going to agree with, with possibly the other side, the other side's not going to agree with us and our interpretations. We just want to hit some of the highlights of what's in that outline and some of the more important points um, that we would like to make. And Ken, you had your hand up. Um, if I may, if you, in a workshop format, if you're okay. Um, because it is a relatively complex issue of the board or anybody else has a question or would like uh, expansion of any one of the points is, is that okay if they sure. uh, yeah. pipe up or yeah. raise a hand or yes, something? Yes, please feel free. I think it might be appropriate that we recognize the Dwayne McGill from the Bunkerville Town Board and Craig Hazen from the City of Mesquite also. Welcome, yeah. gentlemen. Um, as Dave mentioned, we can we uh, we understand that all of us, um, private citizens and government entities have um, obligations under the Endangered Species Act and the conservation laws. Um, and that's not uh, what we're concerned about. That's not what this is about. Um, what we want to do is to um, make sure that all of the entities figure out a way, the best economic method to comply with all of those. Um, and that's our main goal, uh, is the economic development side of this not the conservation responsibilities and environmental responsibilities that we have. Um, what so basically I, what you're saying is you agree with the process of uh, uh, habitat conservation. We agree with the need not for one. For the plan, just not the way the plan is being. Right, because right. basically, um, as you know, Clark County um, has a, a plan, the Multi-Species Habitat Conservation Plan, um, that has been in effect for all these years. Um, and we have been under development of the Virgin River, separate Virgin River um, habitat plan. And our, our point is that we don't think it's a good idea for the government entities in Mesquite, um, the Virgin Valley Water District, and even Bunkerville to pursue a separate plan from Clark County. We think the best method uh, to reach our goals, our economic goals, our conservation goals, is to remain a part of the Clark County Conservation Plan, um, keep them as the administrators. We would obviously be a part of that. We would be um, under don't their you benefit, Don't you see benefits to the other side too, though? I mean. I, I hear what you're saying, and you make some great points in here. There's some points in here I absolutely agree with. But, but, you know, agreeing on principle and stuff doesn't always translate to, to how we can perform can you, as far as... Oh. What I'd like to do is to, if I can, go back to my professorial role. Um, here's where we got pretty nervous when we started delving into this last August. Um, everyone in Clark County, everyone in Clark County who wants to develop land or uh, anything else pays a $550 fee. That, that was originally the tortoise fee, right? That's considered the tortoise fee. It's right. tortoise fee is basically the, the short term for the Clark County Municipal Species, multi-species multi habitat. So anybody says tortoise, that they're actually referring to this, the Clark County multiple species. Plant. That actually includes 78 species. There so it includes species. just much more than just the tortoise. It includes right. many different uh, 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 different species of both plant, animals, uh, aquatic, uh, riparian zones. It, 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 it's, it's far reaching. And here's, here's, here's a couple of points I want to agree with you on. One is, one is that I think it's crazy to think that this plan wouldn't take into consideration that other species would be come on later. In fact, I think the plan actually does. It there's a phase two. There's a phase, there's two. A phase two aspect to it. Right. So, you know, that that aspect I completely agree with. This is what this is what got our attention right here. In Clark County, everybody pays $550 per acre to grade the land. Now that gives them the the water right, the 
water charges or covers the water, covers everything. But everybody, if they want to grade one acre of land, they pay five fifty, and that includes everybody in the steep and Bunkerville. Only, only in the steep right now. Does um, is there an additional five hundred dollars <coughs> per acre to grade the land? And that's only in the steep. Oh, that's not Bunkerville. That's well, number. Let me ask the question because I. Wasn't that brought on by the land takedown? Wasn't that all part of the agreement when the city took down the land was that they would provide a plan for well, What we, we found we, is that when they took the land down, it was a requirement to be a part of the Clark County plan. We have take permits. Clark, uh, we were has part of the original take, take permit permits for that land takedown. Mesquite was. Right. Mesquite was. Part of the original take permit that if you um, on the very front of it Clark County is a permittee and it lists um, Clark County City of Las Vegas Henderson Mesquite North Las Vegas Boulder City and Nevada DOT and I've had this, this discussion with Bo on a few occasions is I I agree wholeheartedly with the argument that we're an agent of the city of Mesquite as far as that you, you, you people are explicitly tied together. I mean, this is obvious whenever there's any any discussions concerning this Virgin River Habitat program. You know, uh, uh, Ken Rock's involved, John Willis is involved, all, all the entities around are involved with this. So it, it's, it's difficult for us to bring up just what's happening to the Virgin Valley Water District when it's so explicitly tied to the city of Mesquite. I mean, it, it's just all tied to Right, but we there, there might be a little gray area when we start talking about Bunkerville over the yes. unincorporated county. Right. Yes. Then I would argue that we're probably an agent of the county on the Bunkerville side. But, I mean, but then, in you addition... Add you want to add? Well, I think, I mean, yeah, I, I raised that issue the last time uh, Marcy Henson and all those folks came here, U.S. Fish and Wildlife was here, Ted Cook and, the, and, and all, all of them. Um, nobody really addressed that, but yes, the, the permit itself does say, this is a paragraph G on page one, the permittees, Clark County, cities of Las Vegas, and those other entities you mentioned, and Mesquite, and agents designated by the permittees are authorized to take 78 species. So um, I, I'm looking in that direction because to the extent anybody would ever come forward and say that there has already been a take of any species on the Virgin River, I want to make sure that we have at least some rational basis to be able to avoid liability from any potential claim in that regard. And so that's why Rich and I, uh, I've, I've shared that, yeah. that, that opinion and, and, and you know, I don't know that the city has ever formally designated us as an agent specific as to this plan, but uh, it, but if I mean, something were to far, arise, that as would far as like the city way. developing, they're going to have to have power, water, sewer, and all those. To me, all those utilities are are agents of the city. It, now, it, when you get over in Bunkerville, I would argue they're agents of the county, where it's the county is the municipality. But the one thing you have to remember is that the way I view it, unless I've missed something, the Virgin Valley Water District is the only water district that had been, that you, that, that the uh, Clark County has come to that's wanted a separate take permit. The I, Southern, the I posed that question Southern the other Valley. day, and they said that, uh, I think it was Mike Ford when he was here, said that the, the Muddy Valley, the, the Wapa Valley, Water District was working on a plan also. So well, but you don't. Because I, I said the same thing. But yeah. then also the Southern Nevada Water Authority has they're, they're contributed. The, they're, they're, they're the big. They're the guy, The big guys in the block, and they say right on their website that they work under the authority or the umbrella for HCP of Clark County. They, they make that statement on their website. Yeah, but yeah. they have. They have contributed money to the fund. Though. But they don't have a separate take permit. In, in I think I think the distinction there would be the originally when the Clark County plan came up, two of the three birds were specifically identified in those 78 species. 
but some of the riparian and aquatic species like the, the two fish, the chub and the wound fin, I mean, guess in WA, and I've, I've talked to them, I don't remember specifically them saying this, but I, I believe their position is, okay, even if we have coverage under Clark, Clark County for these 78 species, you know, we do have interests on the Virgin River, and to the extent there are additional species on the Virgin River that might be impacted by our activities, we also want to be covered. I, I think that's why they would, that among other reasons, or why they, they would participate in the Virgin River. We would change a couple species at night. <laughs> Well, uh, to answer that point, if we could um, offer a, an alternative, um, wouldn't it be cheaper and more uh, cost effective with less e economic impact in the immediate area if, those, if the Clark County plan does not include a couple of the species, wouldn't it be better to add them to the Clark County plan instead of developing an entirely separate parallel conservation I, I, plan and I, system I agree, that would but cost? I think the county is the one that said phase two. they're not willing to do that. Phase, phase two, two, they have the, says, all the species listed. Phase two has all of those species listed. Phase two specifically says, or the Clark County plan specifically says that the um, Virgin River habitat, the development of watershed based conservation plans for the Virgin and Muddy Rivers will be among the highest priorities of phase two of the Clark County Multi-Species Habitat Conservation Plan. One of our questions that we included at the end is whatever happened to phase two because nobody's ever talked about it. Marcy, I believe, sat here and said they they decided, decided not, not to proceed not with to phase two, which I don't understand how you can. I, I but there are provisions. We found what we think to be provisions for pursuing those few species that are not already covered in the Clark County plan. Quick, quick question, question, if I can. Is, is they considered eight fish species for evaluation, did they specifically, and then you said in here, uh, wound fin, virgin river chub. Were they named? Yes. They're in the named. Phase they're, they're they're named in the phase two. Okay, and they also named the clapper rail too. Which right. Was a good they're one. named in this document, yeah. which was finalized by the Clark County in October of 2010, mm -hmm. and it is a follow-on to the original multi-species habitat plan. And this is where we found the multiple references to phase two. And this is where we found the specific um, references to those birds and fish. Okay. And this has been officially adopted by ordinance to the city of Mesquite. This, this document has, and th there was a Mesquite representative. There was a there was a representative there named to represent Mesquite, but there wasn't anybody named to represent the Virgin Valley Water District. Right. You, you guys had no representation sitting at that at that meeting. At this in this document. That was 2010. Ten. Ten, yeah. Early 2010. Yeah. Yes, right. 2009, and then it was finalized in 2000. But I'm saying there, you know, that that, that that this is the problem. This is a, the, 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 I guess, the contradiction I, I don't understand is why is really when it comes to the water district, why are you being singled out? Why is you you don't have any of the other water? I mean, I I don't I'm not a water expert, but. You've got the, the the Southern Nevada Water District, and then you've got all these other water entities underneath of them delivering water, and none of them have to have take permits or have anything to do. And and you don't have separate uh, uh, take permits or separate plans for places like that that collect fees, like in North Las Vegas. North Las Vegas predominantly covers the Las Vegas Wash, which is a huge riparian zone, and, and those are those are don't have any special requirements for it. So really it looks to, to, to us as we review all this that there's a, there's a definite s a singling out of, of the Virgin Valley for, for this special special requirements. I mean, I, I don't know how else we put it. Uh, it, it yeah, it, I think, I well, think I there's can, some inadequacies, obviously. Well, I can tell you what my take's been from talking to the guys that have shown up here. The reason the Virgin Valley Water District has been singled out is because of the way that we get our water through wells 
Well, so that, that's even more contradictory. Exactly, but what they say <laughs> is, is that the reason that we have to have a take permit is because they don't know. They don't know if our pumping water affects the Virgin River. And if it does, somebody might come sue us down the road saying that you took the water out of the river. But, and, and with all due respect to what all the experts say about being sued, I'm, I'm telling you right now, having a take permit is not going to stop anybody from suing. Well, no, it's not. But it's, all it is is an insurance stop. policy. I, I don't even see it as an insurance policy. I know that's been the way it's been presented. But I can't find, we can't find any, I can't, I've done a bunch of research trying to figure out where having a take per permit indemnifies you against any, well, any proceedings. Because. Let me tell you the next, the next yeah. statement that was made by the guy from Fish and Wildlife that stood right there. Yeah. He said, if you guys don't buy into this and you don't collect money, you will not get another permit from Fish and Wildlife to do anything. Well, I know, I heard it. I was here. I heard it. That was said. I know. So, Basically, what they did is they held that over our head, saying you will abide by what we're putting out. I, I'm, I'm not saying they didn't say. I heard the same thing. But at some point, you know, I, I understand we, we have to do certain things and, and do it with the least pain. But with, when it becomes to why are we having to collect money when other uh, other groups are collecting money? I mean, because you've got the Clark County plan. That's collected nearly 97 million in the 90, 94. 94 million dollars, and have 43 or 47 million of unencumbered funds sitting there. Anything we try to do by the the, the 325 thousand dollars that we've got sitting in Mesquite, I mean, there's no way there's no way that you can effectively manage to any any meaningful mitigation with three hundred twenty five thousand dollars it just it ain't gonna happen and one of the one of the points to make if, if I may respond yeah. real quick, yeah. the projected uh, monies to come in from these fees over the 30 years that the VRHCR I'm sorry the Virgin yeah. River yeah. plan yeah. <laughs> I'm like you yeah, yeah. too many letters yes. is um, I think we projected between 12 and Eighteen million dollars between the city. I thought it was more than that. Yeah. Well, it was until we revised it because yeah. <laughs> we revised yeah. it based on lower projected like development million. and one hundred sixty-six dollars per ERU. So the three hundred twenty-five is all there is so far. But well, uh, but that anyway, brings... just to let you know that okay, okay Bob has nineteen million here. That was at the two hundred seventy-five dollar fee that was yeah. initially. Well, not initially. It was initially 550, but right. but I, I figured. Uh, but that's so over 30 sure years. Anyway, I mean, yeah. So what, what, what are you going to do if something needs to be mitigated next year or next month or next year? It, that, that's the problem. The funds aren't going to be there to, to do any meaningful mitigation. Well, the, the idea in the short term. Yeah. yeah. The idea though is that as more. I mean, this more this is based on something more over time. So yeah. if there's more people moving in, and by the way, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with yeah. what you're yeah. saying, but I'm just trying to well, provide well, some well, clarification. We we, Neither yeah. am I. We're just that's defining we the numbers. We're, so we're, as more people come in, impacts will be increased, and therefore. But that's an, that's a very big unknown. The, sure. The known is there's forty some million dollars sitting down in Clark County that that that's that's sitting there that's yeah. unencumbered. I mean, they identify that don't, actually don't unencumbered. Don't you think money. the city of Mesquite's really the one that needs to be in the driver's seat? Yes, I do. Yeah. Don't you, I mean, I, it's nice to have this meeting and talk about it, but. To me, honestly, the city of Mesquite is the one that needs to be Well, we've been acting at the city also. I mean, we, we, we brought this up to the city to where. It, where we think it, it gets really tricky for um, the water district is when it comes to Bunkerville. Because NRS 244 says that only the Board of County Commissions can levy a conservation fee on unincorporated areas of the county. So that calls into question whether well, what's going to happen to what's going to happen to um, Bunkerville with these two fees right here. Let, let's hold off on the water for a minute. Is Bunkerville going to continue if this if we stay on the course we're on and we end up with a separate Virgin River plan and we bifurcate from Clark County? Does Bunkerville keep paying this $550 fee to Clark County? And if they do, what role does Bunkerville 
have in the land portion of the Virgin River plan. They're going to pay their fi <coughs> $550 fee to Clark County. What are they going to get for that? Is Clark County then going to do the mitigation on that side of the river, 500 yards away from Mesquite? And Mesquite's going to do the mitigation on this side of the river? If that's, if that's the way it goes, what have we gained by having two separate plans? Clark County's still going to be in this neck of the woods. So what have we gained? If <coughs> Bunkerville quits paying 550 to Clark County because the Virgin River plan covers Bunkerville, Bunkerville will be the only area in the entire county that doesn't pay any fee. <laughs> I know you like that. But, but this so then, um, if they don't pay the fee to to um, Clark County, are they then going to pay the $500 fee to the city of Mesquite? And does the city of Mesquite have the legal right to levy that fee on Bunkerville, an unincorporated section? Yeah, they do. No, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. They won't go. No, <laughs> this becomes almost an unmanageable fee. fee. <laughs> this almost becomes an unmanageable fee structure. Uh, with if if everybody else in Clark County is under the Clark County Municipal Species Plan, and, Vir and the Virgin River is is something else by themselves. Right. I mean, I mean, what what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to annex Bunkerville into Mesquite. I mean, that's how else you're going to collect the money. And then, <laughs> and then the other unknown, the other tricky part about just these two is if Bunkerville continues to pay the $550 fee to Clark County, perhaps we need to revise that chart because you're not going to be getting Bunkerville's fee. That means the city of Mesquite is going to foot the bill for all of the land development under the, Clark, under the Virgin River Plan without any aid from Bunkerville. I think Nance. there's a confusion there is that the 12 to 15 million dollars was for the Virgin River plan based on Mesquite, SNWA, and Virgin Valley Water District. It did not include collecting any additional monies, 500 or 550 per acre in Bunkerville. But, but, None but, of that was included. but this is all that, all those numbers were generated before we quote Con, uh, that we knew anyhow there was a consideration to bifurcate from the Clark County plan. Actually, these numbers, uh, I'm not, there were, never was a bifurcation because there never was a marriage. <laughs> I mean, the VRHCRP well, uh, was always separate from the multi-species. Mike Ford from Robson stood here and said he was working on removing Virgin River habitat I mean, removing this the Virgin River Valley from Clark County. I mean, he, he stood right here and said it. Um, I'm sorry, I can't respond to that. I, I think well, the board stood there and heard, heard him say that he was working in a report he gave the board. He because was, Mike stood up, or? I asked, you, I, I interrupted, said, do you mean separate? And he said yes. Yeah, let me, if I can clarify that, I think a little bit. Number one, when Mike stood up and, and gave that information, um, and I made this comment after he, he made the statement, um, there hasn't been any approval by this entity of anything that, was, that he said. Um, there, there is staff that is involved in the development of the plan, but there is no formal declaration of any kind of approval, nothing, resolution, adopting anything that Mike Ford said. Yeah. I'm not saying I necessarily disagree with what he said. I, 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 frankly, I didn't understand what he was saying. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 was, it, was, it was fairly confusing. Um, but since then, there has been meetings with him, and we have gotten clarification on that. As far as I understand, Clark County, um, as I look back at the history, Clark County initially was going to be actively participating in the Virgin River Plan. At some point, they indicated that they no longer thought it was necessary that they participate in these, with these aquatic species, and so they didn't want to participate in that plan. I think more recently, they've indicated that if somebody doesn't want to be part of the Clark County plan, they need not be part of the Clark County plan, and they can explore their options, but um, 
Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I think what we get into is actually if we remove ourselves and have a separate Virgin River plan, we're actually opening ourselves up to far more litigation liability in the way of costs and than if we stay a part of, of the whole Clark County. I mean, there's another potential uh, un, un, you know, unknown liability to lawsuit. I mean, it, and again, Bo, I think you shook your head that there was somewhere in, the, in these documents that you said there was a, a, an actual indemnification of, of, of from lawsuit. There was a. I, yeah, I, I don't know what documents you're looking at. If you're looking at like the the, the Virgin River Plan or the Clark, Clark County Plan, no, it is not there. It's the Endangered Species Act itself. It's Title 16. Okay. It's the code. It's right here. It's, okay. it's uh, not fun to read, but I've read it many times. Yeah. Well, Absolutely, the. The law exists. Congress did this years and years yep. and years ago. They decided, you guys, uh, nobody can engage in anything that's going to harm a species. Right. So the Secretary of, an Inter of the Interior has the right to authorize a party, an entity like the Virgin Valley Water District, to engage in activities that would incidentally harm species, which would normally be illegal. But if we have a permit, then we, we can't be, you know, we, we, you know, there's not going to be a violation or, of, okay. of that law. But that doesn't stop a, 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 another entity from <coughs> suing, saying we're not fulfilling our plan or not following Those, our plan. Let me clarify that too. Those entities that would do that, they would sue the Fish and Wildlife Service for not enforcing. For Fish and Wildlife, one of the things they're charged with by the federal government is to protect the species, and so those entities they don't sue us; they sue them, and and then they you know, give us penalties or find us in violation of the act if we don't have an incidental take from it. That's essentially how that litigation works. Okay. okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I tend to cut to the chase sometimes, but I think your points are really well taken. I, and I think the board's majority feel like, oh, we got to protect ourselves. <coughs> is that if there's a solution, like, who do we go to? How do we fix it? I think the board might embrace it right now they want to be protected and I can I can empathize sympathize agree with that I think you have some really good points but what, what, what we're trying to what I think what we really need to pursue like the bifurcation separation was and you got additional clarifications we haven't I mean we haven't got any additional clarification to those comments made here publicly. The, com the comments that were made to me about the bifurcation was basically that right now that the act is not equitable as far as what monies are being paid. And in order for it to be equitable, they may have to separate it out and have its own plan. But even if we separate it, we will not be equal. That, that depends on the negotiations, I think. Because you're going to have a $500 fee to the city of Mesquite, and then you have the additional but that's something 166. But that's the something that the 500 the city of Mesquite that's collected, that's something the city of Mesquite enacted, right? Well, yeah, we agree. Yeah, but, mean, but, 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 agree. What, what, but what what are we going to do about that? You're at the wrong place. Well, we're, 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 the, yeah, we're working on that other side of it, too. But <coughs> the point is, is no other water district is having to charge any kind of, of, of in, and habitat, you know, habitat program fees. I agree. So so what's the solution though? Like I guess like Ken was saying, was, do we hire an attorney and sue him? Well, well, that, would, I mean no, you, well, I, would you like brought up you brought up a key word earlier, cost effective. Yeah. Well that's I mean, what I'm saying. We've already agreed to pay there, hundred There's a huge bucks. there's a huge bureaucracy that already exists in Clark County for, for the H C P program. I mean it, it, it's a massive I mean there's no reason for us to try to duplicate that bureaucracy. So so what is it going to take for us to be covered completely by that program. You know, do we add a species? As far as we can find, every species th that has been named uh, is already included in the, in, up into the phase two of the program. We need to implement the you know, phase two. You know what my belief is that it's going to take? It's going to take the city of Mesquite going down there and forcing the issue. Uh, can I, can right. I clarify right. something? Something here for me. I'm sorry, I'm not as up to date as you guys are. So if I go down to Moapa, Moapa Valley, and buy an acre of land, how much am I going to pay to the? Five hundred and fifty. And if I come up here to Mesquite and buy an acre of land, how much am I going to pay? Right now I mean, it's eleven $1 hundred. It's eleven hundred fifty dollars right now. How, how can we have that? I mean, that's all of this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, and my I, understanding is it all took place because of the land, of the takedown of the land. Well, that's that they. Well, I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going to be a little bit cynical here. Uh, that's the excuse of why the extra fees are being played. I, 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 I contend that it's not necessary because the, 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 the MOA that was signed very very strangely after the fees were starting to be collected. The MOA that supposedly uh, that, that, that made the $500 required be, be collected by the city of Mesquite was after it. It states in there for its party to it where it for any species that's not in the Clark County plan. So that's the only requirement. If it's in the Clark County plan, we have we have no requirement under the MOA to, to have a Virgin River Habitat program. I mean that nullifies the whole thing. Well, can I ask Mr. Hafen? He's he's kind of been here from the get go on this deal. What's your take on this, uh, Mr. Hafen? <laughs> Is the camera on? Yeah. Yes. Not on you. Yeah. So you At you, least the recorder's on. Okay. Use your church words. <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. I mean, and we said it here, we've said it up there, it should be one plan, one fee. We should be treated fairly. Amen. I, I think, you know, you guys are hitting on the head. Difficult. There was decisions made previous to the people setting pushing buttons in the ski right now. There's questions being asked. I think we're headed down the right path. I would suggest that maybe in the future that a board member from this board, one from Bunkerville too, because it, it's it affects you know you guys run incorporated Clark, Clark County. Mm -hmm. The plan has to exist. One of you and your attorney get in the boat because the questions are being asked, and so we can we can join forces and go together and ask the right questions. And, okay. and I'm going to leave it at that. So going forward, what do we do here? What we what we would like to see more pursuit of, and I'll say that as politically correct as I can, what we would like to see more pursuit of, instead of further development at this point of a separate Virgin River Habitat Plan, we would like our elected officials to put that on hold and diligently explore staying under the purview of the Clark County Multiple Species Habitat Plan, work with the Fish and Wildlife to have the Virgin River, Virgin Valley Water District covered under the, the uh, same governing documents as Southern Nevada Water Authority so that they are, so that this water district is treated the same as Southern Nevada Water Authority is, and that we end up ultimately with one plan for the entire Clark County region and one fee for the entire Clark County region. That is our goal, one plan, one fee. <coughs> and we would like our elected officials to explore that um, as much as possible and work with the Clark County authorities work with the Fish and Wildlife Authorities, um, work with Southern Nevada Water Authorities, if that's, not, I mean, you know, we, we work with them on a lot of other issues, and ultimately reach that goal where Mesquite is treated the same as everybody else in Clark County. So that we have the same economic basis from which developers and builders can work from that everyone else is. And I'll give you an example of, of where, the, where the potential damage comes in. For instance, we we've want, the people in Mesquite would love to see a solar plant come in and build in Mesquite. And that would be a huge economic boom. But I can tell you, if I was a developer, and I was looking to build a solar plant in Southern Nevada, and I saw all of these fees for Mesquite, and I only saw one fee for, let's say, Moapa, or south, just south of Vegas, 
where do you think I'm going to take my dollars? And, and you have to remember too with the land values nowadays. The city of Mesquite just did a, a an appraisal of a, a sizable amount of property over there, and the appraisal came back at three thousand dollars an acre. So we're looking at that property value at three thousand dollars an acre, and it's going to cost fifteen hundred dollars an acre. Just to, in to, conservation fees. Just in conservation fees yeah. to to move the dirt. And that's where we see. No, I mean so that that's a good point. But I think when you're when you when you when you're comparing the city of Mesquite to unincorporated areas, you're comparing apples and oranges. If you compare the city of Mesquite to Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, Boulder okay. City, now, okay. but you can't, Boulder City, you're Boulder gonna, City, you're going to have some higher costs in municipality. But I agree that it doesn't need to be. If I go to Boulder draft. City and build my solar plant like they just did. I paid one five hundred and fifty dollar fee in Boulder City. Right. If I try to build that same solar plant up here, it's going to cost me potentially. It's going to cost me at least double that just for the land, and then the one one hundred and sixty six per ERU for the water. I, I, and I think most people recognize it needs to be an equitable system. I'm not ready to count out a different a two different plans. I mean, I. Well, I I understand what you're saying. We're, we're here not, arguing the opposite in the side perfect, of it. In the work. perfect world, that'd be nice. But let's say they could come up with two plans, and our plan protects us just as well legally and, but, but and I, I, I think more the equitable. I think the complication comes in in on this is Bunkerville, as, as Barb has brought up. Because when Clark County wants to separate or bifurcate, they're talking about removing the Virgin Valley Riparian Zone as part of this. That covers Bunkerville. Bunkerville is in the riparian zone, period. And, and you, how, how are we going to separate, like Barb said, one half of the river? And then if, if, if that happens and they separate, then what's really going to happen is Bunkerville is going to have to have their own take permit. If you guys are separated from it and, and, and Mesquite has to have a take permit, and, and, the, and, the, and the Virgin Valley Water District has to take credit. Now all of a sudden, Bunkerville's going to have to have a take credit. I, 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 I don't think I agree with that because... Well, if Clark County removes the Virgin Valley... An incorporated well, area can be in the same plan as a, as a, as a city. It's I, under the same... Are you going to pay your fee then? Is Bunkerville going to pay their sure fee to... they're going to pay their fee to the, to to, the plan. To that's the, where, the that's where it's going to now. Plan. It's not going to it's Clark County. It's not going to Clark County. It's going to the if, Habitat. If Virgin Valley Water District collected the fee now, the 160 yeah, right. per, it, would it, go, it would go to the city of Mesquite. Right. It, it exactly. would, but we're talking the land. One, one thing in well, the, keep in the mind. Difference, the difference between the 500 is is Bunkerville didn't get any of that acreage no, on the other right. side. Right. But but part of, if you remember, if I, and if I remember right, even after the, the original... Um, Mesquite Land Act was only for what ten thousand acres, right. and then, and then through bureaucratic change, it was every acre, whether it was included in that right. original lands act or not, every acre then became subject to all of these fees. So, which includes Bunker. Yeah. Yes, am I right? I don't. Am I right? I don't. Well. It, that ball speed. I don't right on the speed. That ball speed. Okay. What I wanted to point out, and, and let me start by saying, I, I love that you guys are, are interested in, in something for the benefit of the community. I think it's absolutely awesome. I, I, I wish our entire community was you know was was out doing things like this. Um, they have more uh, or they have better lives than we are. <laughs> <laughs> They're not near as boring as we are I would, Yeah, I wouldn't disagree <laughs> with you on that, but <laughs> <laughs> um, one, one thing I want to just point out, the Endangered Species Act, which is really what this is all about, right? We, we start getting into fees and we start getting into boundaries of cities and, and so forth. Really what we're talking about is, is where is our service area? Where are we having impact on the species? And we're having that both in Mesquite and we're having it in Bunkerville, arguably. I, I really don't know that that's actually taking place. We have to, but that's why we're putting together the HMMP to try and determine it. But go ahead. Right. And th there's also questions as to whether or not these species are, are, are here. Uh, and that's right in the biological opinion. But um, I, don't, I don't see an issue with the Virgin Valley Water District, whose ratepayers are, are in Bunkerville and Mesquite, 
because our impacts are in both places and we serve customers in both places, I don't see this, delineate, this delineation that you guys are saying that we're going to have this major issue between Mesquite and Bunkerville. Well, but where does the money for Bunkerville who has to, that, that, that needs to contribute to the Virgin River Habitat, when they pay that 550, where's that 550 going to go? Is that going to go to Clark County or is it going to go to the city of Mesquite? Well, as, as has been said many times, we, we, we don't have any jurisdiction over that five hundred fifty dollars. I understand, but the, 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 why that's are we try to bring the issues though that's, that nobody has talked yeah, about right. and nobody has addressed in in any of our discussions. Last well, November, when we had that huge meeting, nobody talked about it. Well, what you need to understand is, is once again, and you've stated it many times, the five fifty is for the Clark County Act. Mm -hmm. Right. But but, the, the, but, but it, and if. The only question is going to be is if if we get pulled out of the Clark County Act, right. and that hasn't happened yet. And I well, don't, I mean, Skeet has neither. I mean, nobody's no, been pulled out of the Clark County plan. No, nor do I see it happening. Then why have because two plans? Why have two plans? Because it does it doesn't cover those. Other species. Why Even though it says it does, why not? Why not work I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we asked that. Hey. We asked that when they were here. I know. I, I wish they would. I think they should. I think it's asinine to assume that a plan wouldn't but have think, any ability to encompass other other species as they came or were found. Or, yeah. Or yeah. And the language says that it that it, it so, does. It contemplates that. Right. At least phase two. Yeah. So does it want? And phase two. Do we want to hire an attorney and pay him? Well, I don't, I don't think it takes. I don't think right now it takes an attorney. I think it needs to take, a, 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 just like, like Craig Apen said, it needs to take you know somebody from this board, you know, the attorneys, and and, and to go to Clark County and say, look, this is what we expect that we need to do. We should we should be treating the Virgin Valley different than all of all of Clark County, well, all the rest I of Clark County. I agree with that 100. percent I guess. But I think what Craig said was that protect. we need to have people from this board. And get on board with Mesquite yes. and go not but this how, board, and how do we so. protect uh, the development of our community and our connections while we're at battle with the <laughs> Fish and Wildlife Service you know well, I don't, I don't the think same way we have so far we have spent eight years in this in this valley building the or writing a Virgin River plan we've spent eight years oh. and I might add about seven million dollars well, there's still no plan either way and there? there's no plan and we've been okay because the whole thing as they said as the officials from all of the other agencies said last november you guys have been working on it so we're gonna let you go well then let's work on it from a different angle because they're only worried about us paying the money well, yeah, let's open it up to the public if we can. oh okay just a minute go ahead we got mr bunkerville here Dwayne again <laughs> bunkerville now help, help me get this straight. <clears throat> we have a hypothetical question that by pumping the wells in the Virgin Valley might create a problem. Okay. Then we got the Clark County insurance plan that might take care of us if we have a problem. But if that don't take care of us, maybe this new insurance policy that we're going to employ, maybe it'll take care of us. Guys, what the hell is this? I think the last two mites and maybes are not so much mites and You know, you guys are pretty, pretty uh, willing to spend our money on a lot of mites. I mean, I take my hat off to these two for me not being sharp enough to pick up what they picked up. But I would think, and I'm in business, and I have a liability policy, and if them son of a guns don't take care of me, I have another option. Okay. What do you see, what do you see as but I'm not going to go what generate. What do you see as our other option here? Mine? No, ours. No, you got a liability policy, right? Clark County? That, that's what they, and then they came back and said it didn't cover us under certain species. Okay, then. And, and, and argue, arguably, I mean, I understand, I agree with a lot of the points that are being brought up. But you got to remember, a lot of this was discussed earlier, and a lot of stuff was agreed to prior to this board. Yes, it was. We agreed to pay $166. But yes. that hasn't been accepted yet by the Fish and Wildlife. That's, they that, turned that down. They could no, throw that no, away and say it's down. not acceptable. It hasn't formally been submitted as the actual. Yeah. So they could come back and reject it and say, oh, no, you're going to pay $500. They, I mean, that 166 is not cast yet. My problem is all the hypotheticals that we're dealing yeah. with. The only thing that isn't hypothetical is the cash. 
Amen. That's the only thing that isn't hypothetical. And, and guys, follow the money trail. This is all about money. They don't give a damn about an animal in the river. They don't care about none of that. I sat on this thing 10 years ago, 8 years ago when they started. I went to the meetings on this. And I was one of the only idiots sitting there that wasn't collecting a check for being there. And I physically got sick when they'd have a meeting. They wanted to put a budget together as to how much money they needed to do something they didn't know what, uh, what they were going to do. So they threw $2 million at it. And they took it to the, to the tortoise fund to collect the money. Guys, I had to walk away from it because I physically would be ill. And, and, and the same process is still going because we have a lot of hypotheticals that nobody knows. And I don't take my checkbook and write out a check on a hypothetical. I want to get the bill and know what I'm being covered for. But it looks to me like we got two insurance policies here and they both do the same thing. And I would make Clark County step up and clarify what they have. But I do, I live in Clark County. That's where all those when it, you when guys... You, everybody live in here lives in Clark County. When you say make, are you talking about hiring an attorney? That's, no, that's I'm not. No, I'm not. Clarification. Yeah. Clarification, that's all. Okay. Yeah, what's the intent? What's the purpose here? They already here? got their intent. They but the problem is, what he said was we don't even know. No. We don't even know if pumping water has an impact. Let's go there. Let's, let's get some verification now. So you want to pay for a study? With that being said, Dwayne, when they say here in this in this building, we ask them, well, why don't we do the study first? Why don't we see if it's going to impact it? And if it does impact it, then we'll pick exactly we'll collect the fee. And they said, oh, no, that's not going to work. And we got to collect the fee first. We Once also, again, it is, I agree with you 100%. It's all about money. It's all yes. about it's money. All it's all about, about, it is about money. money. And, and, and the way get, it's about money is when it gets to the point where it, it becomes more cost effective to fight it, then we fight it. And, that, and that's when they'll quit. Yeah. But sure. when, when they say, okay, $166, and we're looking, okay, we can pay $166, or we can spend our, hire an attorney and go fight but, this but thing. But you don't know what that $166 is going to cost you in development in, in the valley. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you can't we'll pay. Hey, we have an attorney, but once we, once we tell him to go fight this, what, what happens? And I, I don't think I'm probably going to say, I, I don't think... I don't think I want to go fight this. I, I, we need to fi hire outside Rich, counsel. I don't think it takes a fight. If we go fight this, man, how, much is, how much Rich, is it going to cost? Rich, 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 point of order here. Yeah. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me make some statement. I don't think we have to go in this as a fight. We've been trying not to yeah. pull put a fight up. We've been trying to educate everybody on a different perspective what this is. Hey, Dave, we have administrators. Hold up one second, Dave. How come it's a point of order for me to well, shut up for him to talk? You've got to let other people say stuff, Rich. He had not had enough time to talk? I mean, why is it a point okay. of order for me to shut up when I'm talking for him to talk? Okay, let's not get into it. Let's go. No, let's get into it. No, we're not going It's ridiculous. To. I was no. talking. You called a point yes, of order so he can talk. Yeah. Why is that? Well, we're trying, we're trying to listen to Craig Hafen now. Oh, all right. Yeah. You're giving the floor to Craig? I think the question is, it's the same question we have, I have as an elected official of the city, okay? Have you got an answer from a county representative that says why they're not going forward? Any of you that sat there that was elected to, to represent the Prison Valley Water District? Have any of you, are you getting it from the source or are you getting it second hand? I mean, that's, that is ultimately the question, and the questions that are being asked tonight, I think, are the questions that you guys and myself and, and the other four or five that set up there, we need to ask. And I think that's, I think we'll start making some headway. Okay. The girl from Clark County said here, and I don't... Marcy Henson. Yeah, Marcy. I don't remember what her comment was. She did give us some... Well, she's an administrator. I mean, she's an administrator. Her job is to, to, to go through and to enforce and, 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 and execute this plan. That's her job. I don't see where she has the authority to say we're going to not implement phase two. I don't know why she has that authority when it's been, it's been ratified by, uh, my understanding, all the entities involved, including Mesquite. I, I don't understand why she... Well, what we, what we would also like you to do is to work with the Clark County Board of uh, Commissioners um, and our elected rep representatives on that board to, again, 
look at an alternative, a possible alternative to having a separate plan. And that, that alternative is to remain under Clark County plan, have one plan, one fee, work with the elected representatives in Clark County, um, and see if it, it's feasible, see what the ramifications are. Can it be done? I, I have sat here for since 2007 and listened to, to the, the Water District and the City Council um, talk about the Virgin River Plan. I never heard any consideration of not pursuing the Virgin River Plan. I think back in the, in the heydays of two, 204, 205, 206, 7, when, when all of this was percolating and it was um, in the mill, was a, a much different economic time. Back then, developers could have cared less. You throw $2,000 out there, I'll pay it. I don't care. I, I think that's why we got that second $500 charge, because the city of Mesquite was in such a white heat to take down that land yes. and do some development, that they were willing to sign away whatever they needed to sign away to get you it. Bet. Mr. So, Young, you got a comment there? Uh, Yes, I'm, I'm Mike Young uh, here in Mesquite. Um, I like the strategy that I, I've seen here tonight because many times the board, you have a very difficult time getting in an adversarial relationship with other board entities. But having citizens come forward and raise those questions that you may have in your own mind is a very, very good strategic plan to try to get some action to move forward. When they're only talking to you, it's a, it's a difficult situation, but when the citizens come forward and are forcing us to do this, or not forcing you, but certainly raising these strong questions, advocates like this can drive this process a long way for you, and then you still remain in the decision making. Mm -hmm. You're not an advocate or opposition, right. you're the decision makers then. And I just sound very good hearing that you are finally getting some opposition, or at least some other side of the story. Yeah, good point. Just, just to be clear, um, and I'm, obviously I'm not a board member, but but the board has and the general manager have to, to some extent um, done a, a lot. And, and Kenyon started to talk about this. I mean, Marcy Henson, Ted Cook, everybody has stood in here. And you guys were here. Yes. You guys heard them. I mean, essentially it's a, you do this or you're going to be sued. You have to do this. You're not covered around Clark County. I mean, she very clearly said that, very clearly. And then I understand that she told you something different by phone previous to that, but but I, I've, I mean, I've talked to SNWA, two or three different people there, including two attorneys. I've talked to Clark County, I think Rhonda Hornbeck and Marcy Henson. I've talked to, I think, Dean Hellers. I've talked to people in Washington, D.C. I've talked to people in, in Carson City. So the district is doing its due diligence on, on, on finding out, are we or are we not covered? Um, Again, I appreciate you guys being here, and I think additional work probably needs to be done, but, but there is a lot of effort that has gone into this, and if there's a better solution, then that's for this board to decide, but, but a lot of effort has gone into to ascertaining what our, what our obligations are. And we appreciate yeah. that very much. Because we, we don't want to see the water district in that's jeopardy of a lawsuit or not getting more water or having water. We're not looking for that. We're looking for what is the most optimum solution. And I still go back to why is you, you, you get north here and you get in the Virgin Valley, you come down the hill, and all of a sudden we're different than the rest of Clark County. That that's what I don't understand. I can't I can't I can't rationalize or put a point to that. Well, one one potential explanation, and I'm not again I'm not advocating this position, but I think one explanation I've heard um, is that it's the riparian? Riparian. I mean, we we are doing a whole lot here. I know. I know the counter argument. I'm just saying that's what their that's what their argument is. But we have to do counter arguments and say, look, there's more Virgin River south of us than, that, that passes through Mesquite. I mean, there's a whole lot more of it that 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 isn't in this riparian zone here. I mean. I'll I'll give you my opinion. No, 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 that's all in the Bunkerville Township, though. I'll give you... No, so, I mean, I'm, talk, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about South. I'm talking about from here to Lake Mead. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a, my uh, opinion on why it changed is because nobody else went and took down all that acres from... Well, North Las Vegas. 
And as soon as they did, once again, Fish and Wildlife saw it an end to get some more cash. But, but and with doing that, you guys can have it, but you're going to do your own thing and you're going to take care of those fish and you're going to take care of those birds and blah, blah, blah. But, but, no, but again, the city of Mesquite was in such a white heat to get the land, they were willing to do yeah. and, and North Las Vegas, Vegas took down more land than any other entity in, in, in Clark County during this period of time. That they their coverage of North Las Vegas covers more of the Las Vegas wars than any other entity, and they didn't go after them for some special riparian zone fee. But, but do they have the potential of the Virgin River chub and the yes, they have they have the, and all those things in there. They, they have other species of aquatic uh, species there that they have they could potentially endanger also. They're named. They're named in here. Maybe they were just a little bit smarter than us. And well, uh, I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> All right, where do we go from here? Anybody got any? Well, we can't. I mean, this is just the first presentation of discussion, so we can discuss from now till the cows come. Right. Out. What What our main goal was tonight, you know, is it was just to present. Um, these issues from a different perspective than perhaps what you've heard before. To put some, a, a, another side, if you will, into the discussion. Um, to ask for your consideration. Uh, to explore perhaps a different avenue to go down. And that is all we wanted to um, to do tonight. That was our goal, was simply to present to you a different perspective on what you've heard before. And we very, very much appreciate you guys coming in here and listening to us. Um, and we appreciate your consideration. Um, and that's, that's our, we've met our goal. And I, th I want to thank you also for listening. Yes. Uh, our, uh, uh, you know, we've only had in the past Three minute, three minute short quips, and then saying we're out of order. So uh, we've been faced with that. So we, we finally got our. That, that's not true. You you, you might have been told that, but I, I remember. I, I know you guys back there, but telling you, telling them that, later, That's right. So. That that did happen. But I'm saying we, we we got three minute snippets, and we do. And what I'm trying to say is, I want to thank you for giving us all our time. And, and I think uh, Bo brought up a very interesting point that I don't think I've heard before. Uh, about how you know the, uh, and I don't know what the term you, you used, but uh, it was one mesquite, of those official terms. Yeah, <laughs> mes mesquite could designate possibly the Virgin Valley Water District under under their preview, just like Clark County does to Southern Nevada Water. I mean, those are the kind of things I, I didn't know. I, I hadn't picked that up anywhere. And those are the kind of things that we just need to, as a group, say what's the best thing for mesquite. What's the best thing for Bunker Bill? What's the best thing for the water district to, to go? Because they're all tied together. This whole thing is tied together. And, and I still go back to why, and I understand, Mesquite took land down. We can argue other places took land down. I, I don't think there's anything unique to Mesquite that justifies this other than certain previous officials uh, elected not to challenge it. They found it. I agreed to it. Okay, point yeah, of order. Dwayne, what's up? Dwayne and then Sandra has yeah. a comment. My, my, only thought, no, my only thought would be to get the Board of County Commissioners because they're the brass in Clark County. Yeah. And Tom Collins sure would like to be reelected. <laughs> Anytime he can get his name out there. Yeah. Because maybe you need to go for some clarification from the Clark County Commission because they're the brass. Everybody else is below them. Just a suggestion. I won't comment on Tom Collins. <laughs> this is taped, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I agree too. And, and I thank you both for coming and, and talking and, and bringing all this and other ideas to us that we haven't fully heard or maybe understood. And I think, at least looking from, from where I have been, not knowing all of the things that have gone on over the years and what have you, um, and, and having these different umbrellas that could possibly be there. I think the fact that we have been, they have stood here, threatened us that if we don't do this, then we could be sued. And if we don't do this, then they're not going to permit us more water if it's available. 
And I think those are very strong things for us to think about for growth and everything else. Um, finding out more answers is very definitely important to us. And I think that that's something we're all interested in doing is trying to do the best thing. And that's all we ask that you do. That's all we ask that you do is ask the questions and then, you know, relay the answers back to us. And, and if at the end, the, you know, I, I, I think so. You made an excellent point there, but the point is the people that were threatening you were the, the, administ the administrators, not the decision makers at Clark County. Right, and we think and, that's and that and that's something that I think a lot of cases where you have fish and wildlife sitting there. Well, then you know if we get threatened by fish and wildlife by the county administrator, these are administrators. Then we go to our our our. our federal representatives, we go to our county representatives, and we say, are, are you really advocating this type of action? And, and, and get that get that confirmation. Okay. Okay. Mr. Roth. Thanks, Ted. Uh, I'd like to also say that I think there were some really good points made, especially about why in the Multi-Species Act is there a phase two that appears to cover these species, and yet that phase two has not been pursued. Um, I think that uh, why are we different is a good question. Uh, some of your concluding comments, I, I didn't agree with all of them, but I thought they were some very probing good questions. Um, I think that the board has acted prudently in response to the input they've had regarding legal protection, both from our consultants our legal advisors and the representatives from the, the, the firms, um, I think we're in a little bit of a, let's turn it around. This is an opportunity. <laughs> is that, um, and we heard uh, Warren Hardy tell us, I will go down to the county level too, if you'd like. And pursue things. Yes, we, just, we heard that last night with and light bulbs. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just thinking, oh, right, we'll prove it, you know. Uh, I know that it's you know, not necessarily an uncontroversial person to have, but if he's an asset in this respect, perhaps that would be a great opportunity that wouldn't involve us personally or is this like, Warren, figure this out. Maybe talk to these people. What, you know, just an idea, because I'm trying to get our board and me into a place where we can take this information, get a plan of action, because to me, having um, a problem without a solution is, is not, uh, not acceptable. I know that you, know, you have acted prudently, and I'm, I'm thinking if there is a way out of this, maybe there is something we can simultaneously pursue without losing our protection. And I, and I can bring back one point is I think it might be prudent for the, one of the first things to do is since what Bo brought up tonight that's very intriguing to me to go to the Mesquite and, and, and city of Mesquite and, and figure out can, can the Virgin Valley Water District be put under the protection or be designated by Mesquite who is a signator now to the, Virgin, to, to the take permit. Can, can they do it? Like just like SNWA, I, I think that's I think that's one of the, the keys right now to what the next step would be. If if that can be done, then that should be done. And then all of a sudden, the Virgin the Virgin Valley Water District says, "Okay, we're protected under Mesquite." Yeah. And yeah. Then, also go under Clark County. Exactly. Well, because, because they're all Mesquite part of the state permit. Mesquite it's a is a signatory permit. on the original permit yeah. under Clark County. I say, if we go under Clark County, it's going to be Right. One of those entities, if one of those yeah. entities would name name Virgin Valley Water District as a protector. I, I don't know. I don't know. Agent. And and I, agent. I, I think maybe that's some direction to give warnings to say, hey, look, why don't you go to the county and see what we can do about clarification on that. Get the right people. But we, uh, we're pretty done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really appreciate you, people. Thank you. Above and beyond the call of duty for citizens. Does anybody else have any other comments? I, I know that this is, there is no action item on here because we don't know where we're going to go yeah. and what's going to take place. So the board cannot take an action item, but you can um, 
come back with something on the agenda? How, how, how do they do something? Yeah, they could direct to put an item on the agenda, um, mm -hmm. which would be fine. I, I know that... For discussion and then possible action. Correct, yeah. Could could we uh, could we ask either you or Bo to write warn our new uh, lobbyist a letter to address this? We'll be meeting with him uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah. so we could we could definitely mention it to him um, and uh, get his thoughts. And, and I think that might be a good first step. Huh? Okay. You know, another thing we could consider is um, whether or not we want to do something with the city of Mesquite to have the city designate the Virgin Valley Water District formally as an agent of the city. Uh, I, I, I was thinking in that direction back when this, when, when this was coming up before, when there were statements that you know, har harm was already being done, and mm -hmm. uh, I would hope the city would be open and receptive to that. So but that, that's something they, want, they may want to include the wastewater treatment plant and the Overton Power and Renice Connects in the process, too. I, I think that, we, just to be fair, all the, the other board members ought to be able to sound in on this because we haven't heard the, everybody. Apparently, I've already had enough to say, so we're going down. <laughs> but then, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't it take two members of city council to get it on their agenda to discuss? I think so. No. Yeah. No? no? It only takes one? Mm -hmm. That's all. That's the impression it took two. That, are there any objections to Bo and I talking to Warren Hardy? I say we're paying him. Let's make him do something. For that yeah. July 1st, he's on the table. There you go. You, you're going to get that contract with some stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to get that bill, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I guess at uh, 612, we are officially adjourned. Thank, thank you, everybody. For thank you very much for your time. Really Anybody want to show up tomorrow?